Today I'll be using the roulette tracker playing an idea from a subscriber. Let's call it Majority 5. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's idea comes from Antonio, who's one of my subscribers, and his strategy involves the even money bets. Antonio says to track the even money bets until you get to a 5-3 situation or a 5-4 situation. So here is an example. Take a look at this roulette tracker. We have a 5 versus 3 between even and odd. So how the majority 5 strategy works is We'll be betting on the majority, which in this case is even, aiming to get a win before odd has a chance to get to five. So we'll have two attempts to try to get a win. If we bet on even and it hits right away, great, we stop right there. If we bet on even and odd comes up, we would have a 5-4 situation. We would bet on even once more. And if we get a win, great. If not, we would have a 5-5 tie. We'll be using a 1-2 loop for our betting strategy. So I'll be starting with $5 units. I'll go 5 and then 10. If I lose both bets, we're going to increase our unit size using bet spreads. So the next time around, I'll be using $10 units. I'll do a 10-20 loop, so on and so forth. Antonio also says that after a hit, restart the tracker and look for another 5-3 or 5-4 situation. Okay, so a pretty straightforward strategy, majority 5. I like it, so we're going to give it a shot and play a session. Let's go! Before we get started, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, you know what to do. Destroy the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Okay, I'm gonna record our balance. So 2,630, just so we can keep track of where we've started from. I'm gonna find a table and get started. Majority five, let's go. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is just enter in a couple of these spins and see where the tracker takes us. Okay guys, so I've recorded from here, number 32, and I've skipped the zero. So 32, 28, 30, 13, and 34 is what I have recorded on the tracker so far. No 5-3 situation or 5-4, number eight. See, we have a 5-1 here. That is not our trigger, so we're just gonna keep waiting here. I'll keep recording the spins. All right, guys, check it out. We have a 5-3 situation, low versus high. So I'm going to place a bet on high here. And we have two opportunities to try to hit on high. We're doing a 1-2 loop, okay? So if I don't hit this, next bet will be $10. By the way, if you have two situations where you have five versus three, for example, we have low and high, and let's say we had red versus black as a five, three as well, you can place both bets and keep track two different ways. All right. So looking for a high number here. Number six, we lose. So I'm gonna place another bet on high for $10 and check it out. We also have a second trigger. So let's go ahead and place $10 on high and look, we have red versus black. I'll place $5 on black and we'll keep track of that separately. All right, let's go ahead and put a dollar on zero, right? So again, check it out. We have two triggers going on at the same time, low versus high and red versus black. I'm on the second bet for low versus high, and I'm on the first bet for red versus black. So ideally, we want a high black number here. Okay, we get a black number, but we don't hit high. 
All right, number four. Okay, so we end up losing with the low versus high, but we end up hitting the red versus black. Okay, we're down a little bit, so I'm gonna restart the tracker and record some more spins and restart. This is how you clear everything. You just click the boxes to the left of the section and it'll clear everything, okay? Okay, I've recorded the last four spins up to number 32 as we get number 16 right here. No five versus three trigger or five versus four trigger just yet. And remember, since I lost on the low versus high, I'm gonna increase my unit size to $10 this time around. So I'm gonna be doing a 10, 20 loop, all right? Once we see our trigger. Okay guys, we have two triggers, low versus high and even versus odd, all right? So we'll do $10 on even and $10 on low. Again, if you have two triggers, feel free to place two bets, just keep track of them separately, all right? So 10, 20 loop here, if we lose, we want a low even number, that would be nice because we would hit on both right away. So give us a low even number. Okay, we get the low number, but we don't get an even number. All right, so this one is done. We're gonna place $20 on even here. Okay, you saw what I did there. Low versus high is done, okay, because we won on the low bet. Even versus odd, we're on the second bet of the 10-20 loop, okay, because we have a 5-4 now. And if odd wins here, we would have another 5-5 tie, but we're looking for an even to hit here and win with a majority. Okay, so give us an even number. Number four, perfect. We get an even number. So we hit on both that time. Very nice. And let's take a look at the balance. All right, so 26, 37, up $7. What do we do after a hit? I'm gonna clear the tracker and record some spins and restart, all right? So when in profit, so we're up $7, I'm gonna go back down to $5 units, all right? No need to stay at $10. We're going back down. All right, number two, I've recorded up until number 19. All right, guys. So no trigger just yet. Okay guys, all three are invited to the party. Look at that, <laughs> three triggers all at once. So we're gonna put five on low, five on even, and five on red, okay? So ideally we're looking for a low, even, and red number. Give us number 12 here. Give us a dozen, that would be nice. Hit all three at once. For the misses, we're gonna keep track, okay? Since we're doing the 510 loop, we have to keep track of what hit and what didn't. All right, 35. <laughs> wow, the complete opposite. High odd black hit. All right, so another chance here. We're gonna go $10 on all three bets. That was a complete opposite, you saw that. We were looking for low even red and we happen to get high odd black. The odds of that happening again are low, but hey, let's see what happens here. 
So second bet of the one, two loop. What I like about this is you can lose two bets maximum per sequence. All right. So low, even red, low, even red. Oh, stay there. Perfect. Look at that. Our turn, our turn to get the complete opposite. <laughs> okay. That was beautiful. So we hit all three at once, low, even, and black. All right. Number 14 came up. And all of them end up being 6 4. All right. And 26 50. All right. That is four units. You guys know I like to go for three to five units per session. So you know what? We're going to call that a session and exit the table. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a quick four units for the session. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the majority five from my subscriber, Antonio. If you have an idea that you want me to try out using the roulette tracker, send me an email. And if I like it, I will feature it on this channel. If you want to pick up this roulette tracker or any of my other premium spreadsheets, go to my website, mrraphael.com. That is it for this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the bell. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.